Bonjour, Emily Talpin, Web System Ambassador in the US. Welcome back to the channel. Today, this video is about giving you my custom mode, so my settings for C1, C2, C3, C4, and actually, I should say five uh, custom mode because my manual mode is set up as well for landscape. So, let's get started. So for this video, we're going to go straight into giving you my settings for C1, C2, C3, C4. So bird, mammal, macro, night photography, and actually my manual mode is set up for landscape. So I hope this is going to be useful. And after that, we're going to talk about the fact that I reached 10K and I'm doing a giveaway, a monopod. So I'll talk about that. And um, actually, I'm doing a second giveaway in this video. You can win an AK diffuser. So stay tuned until the end so you know what you need to do to be able to win either the monopod or the AK diffuser. But for those of you who are here to know what my custom modes are, let's get into it. So first of all, if you are not sure how to do custom modes, well, I have a video for you. So it's right here. So you can click on it and it's pretty straightforward. Put yourself in manual mode and then you'll be able to change all your settings. And after that, you'll be able to record those settings in C1, C2, C3, C4. So if you're not sure again, just uh, click on the uh, video link and I also will put it in the video description so you have access to it. Now, those are my custom settings. So C1 is for bird photography, C2 is for mammal, C3 is for macro, C4 is for night photography, and my manual mode is for landscape photography. That is how my OM1 and my OM1 Mark II are set up. And I have to say that that's the base, so that's how I start, uh, but things are gonna move as I shoot. But at least I have a base to start with instead of having to reprogram everything. And I do that because with your OM system camera, well, you can reprogram all those buttons. And I will need different buttons for macro and for bird photography or for landscape or for uh, night photography. That's why I do the custom mode settings. They are saving me so much time and I highly recommend that you do that as well. So let's get into my C1 setting for bird photography. So if I press OK, you can see that I have one 1250 of a second for uh, my shutter speed. This is really the base, that's how I start. I'll probably go higher because it's bird in flight. Then uh, my F stop is, I like to start wide open, so 4.5 because I shoot with the 150, 400. So that's how low I could get. But if uh, I shoot with the 40, 250, then you will see it at 2.8 uh, and then I will move up from there. So if you're putting your macro lens here, I won't be able to go lower than a f3.5. That's when, when you do your custom settings, make sure that you put the lens that has the more light in. So I like to put the fish eye 1.8, and then uh, it doesn't matter if I set my uh, aperture at f2.8, and then my lens can only do a f4.5 because it's going to pick the lowest aperture of the lens that's currently in. So if you have set it up for f2.8 or f1.8, then you put your uh, 150, 400, then it's going to know, okay, well, this is going to be 4.5. So just uh, pick the lens with the lowest aperture to do your settings. Then my ISO is at 2000. Again, it's the starting point. I will have to readjust. I don't do auto ISO, I like to have full control. So in the field, I know I will have to readjust that. Uh, then uh, I have a single point, but if I click on the, this little lever here, so if I switch it, now you can see that actually it's all points. So it's kind of quick, easy way to switch from one point to all points. If my camera 
uh, does a great job. I leave it on all point, but if it's struggling a little bit to uh, get the bird, then I might switch to that one point. Then uh, for the colors, muted colors, that's what I like because then I have a little bit more leeway in post-processing. And then I do CAF plus uh, MF. So then I can readjust manually if I want to. And then I like to do silent sequential. Uh, that's usually how I start, but um, I might go to Pro Capture or I might go to SH2 if needs be. Uh, I also like to save my setting as duo same. So that's going to be the same settings for all my C1, C2, C3, C4. And I have the bird detection on because I'm doing bird. And then I have auto white balance. Now, you see that little clog? This is going to change for my C1, C2, C3, C4. I have them memorized. I know how they work, but at the beginning, you will have to kind of, if you don't use a custom mode often, you might have to go back to that clog and see how you programmed it. So I actually programmed it in high res mode because if I have a subject, a bird that's perched, that's not doing much, I might get away by doing a high res mode. So that's how I have it programmed. But really the most important is the AEL button and that is set up for my subject detection, very important. I get into bird mode and out of bird mode by pressing this button. And then this button right here, it's reprogrammed for the neutral density filter uh, because sometimes I kind of want to slow, uh, do some kind of artsy effect. If I go all the way down, now the uh, special LFN function on your lens, uh, I program that for subject selection. So if I have three or four birds and I want this bird to be in focus, I might have to move the uh, selection that my camera has. So that's going to be on my uh, LFN function. So that's it. That's what I use. That's my base for bird uh, photography. Now, my C2 is actually pretty similar. It's for mammal. The big difference here is that I actually lower my shutter speed to 500. So it's all slower. And then um, mammal usually are a little bit bigger. So I start at F8, I might go down, I might go up, depending on how close I am to my subject. And then my ISO is a thousand. So, and again, I will have to readjust. It might go way, way higher than this. And then it's the same, I have single and all. Uh, I have the muted for the colors and I have CAFMF because that is the best way for my camera to track my subject when I use the uh, detection. And I also have a uh, high sequential and I also have silent sequential. Why silence? Because when I do bird, when I do mammal, I don't want to click because it's gonna scare my subject. That is why I use the silence here. And then I have it on uh, cat detection. It's doing a pretty good job. But you know what? Actually, bird detection is also doing a pretty good job with certain uh, mammals. Oh, and I also use ESP. So my camera is tracking the whole scene. I use highlights, alerts, so it's fine to use ESP. Uh, so that's just the way I shoot. Now let's go in the clog. Now the clog, the buttons are set the same way that they are set for bird in flight. So my C1 and C2, the clog, all those buttons are the same. Now where it gets a little tricky is when I move to C3. So C3 is for macro. I've been doing so much macro photography, it's been so fun. So for my macro photography, I use my diffuser and my flash. So I only care about my um, aperture. It's F16, that's my starting point because I want everything in focus or so as much as I can in focus. And then for my shutter speed, I have it at 1 60th of a second. I might go to 100. Uh, and then if I don't use focus stacking, then I might go uh, higher depending on the effect I want. But most of the time I stay at 1 60th. It works pretty well. And then my ISO is 200 because that's what's recommended for my camera. It works pretty well. 
my flash is doing all the work so uh, ISO at 200 is fine. Now, manual focusing, that's how I focus. I just move back and forth and I know that with the AF I can get out of focusing. For bird, for uh, mammal, I actually use the back button to focus and then uh, for my macro photography, uh, from time to time I use the AF to actually um, let my camera focus but most of the time I go back and forth that's how I acquire focus for my shots. Now there is no bird detection, human detection that is off on my camera. Still using auto white balance. One thing that is very important is uh, if you are using your flash you need to have it programmed on single shot. Make sure that you program it not with the silent mode. It will not work if you're using a flash. That's why I have one shot. And then if you go to the clock, uh -oh, everything is going to be different. So my plus and minus, my exposure compensation is actually my focus stacking. So if I want to focus stack, that's what I will use. And then my AEL is my bracketing. So if I want more than 15 shots, I'm going to use that. And then this right here is gonna be my night live view mode because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So it's really key with macro photography to program this as night LV. Uh, when I switch it, it's already on because I can see exactly uh, how to focus, super, super important. And then my LFN function is actually high res mode uh, because if I have a subject that's really not moving, maybe I want a high res shot. So that's what I have. But to be honest with you, I, I don't really use it. So that is for my macro settings. That's my C3. Now let's take a look at my Nike photography. Here it's very different. So first of all, I am at 15 seconds. That's my starting point for my shutter speed. Uh, I am at uh, f 1.8 if I'm using my fish eye and I am at ISO 1600. Now um, I'm not changing the single point and the all point. Uh, I'm actually using starry AF. That's how I focus on the star. It works super well and I have single shot. Now my subject detection is off but one big thing is that I customize my white balance. Uh, I'm at 3600 Okay, so that's to have a better render of the sky with the colors. Now, for my button, the only one that I really care about is uh, again this one being set as night view. So I can see what's going on and I can see that my composition is the right composition. That's it, that's all I care about. And one thing though that I should mention uh, that's also on the clock is those two buttons. So the one on top is focus peaking and the one at the bottom is magnifying glass. That is the same for my C1, C2, C3, C4. Now let's take a look at my uh, landscape, which is M. So my shutter speed is, but really because I might use a tripod, I might go down. My aperture is F11. That's my starting point. I probably will go uh, uh, way higher than F11. And then my ISO is at 200. But again, depending on the light, I might go up, I might go down. Again, I will play with my shutter speed and, I, and my ISO to get the right balance. Now, uh, I am in SAF because I don't need to track anything with landscape. My uh, subject detection is off. My white balance is auto white balance. Again, ESP. My camera is analyzing the whole, the whole scene. And now in terms of the clog, 
a lot of things are changing here. So the compensation button is set on high resolution mode. I'll use that a lot for landscape. If I want to print bigger landscape, I can get up to 80 megapixel on the tripod. So that's, that's a great addition if I'm really thinking of doing big prints with landscape. Or if I need to crop a lot, then that's what I will use. Then my AEL is actually on a gradual neutral density filter. It's so fun to use. Uh, so that's a very new feature with the OM1 Mark II that I really like. So that's my AEL button. And then right here again, I'm switching uh, to uh, live ND. So this is great for waterfall. I use that a lot. And then my LFN is set to do HDR. So I feel like I'm very covered with uh, my landscape photography with all those settings. So I hope this was useful and that kind of gives you an idea of my base to start um, shooting those different subjects. Again, as I say, it's really a base. It will vary, especially because I don't use auto ISO. So things are gonna change. So let me know in the comment what you think and how yours are different. I like to update mine quite a lot depending on the season, depending on different type of shooting that I do. So I'll remodel them, but I feel like this is a good base and that should help you a lot. Now, I wanna thank you again for all your support and I cannot believe that I got to 10,000 subscribers. Thanks to Robin uh, Wong who really helped me on this one on the first day. And uh, uh, thank you to all his subscribers who came over to my channel. I hope you really enjoy the content that I'm gonna put forward for you and maybe go back and rewatch some of the videos that you might find useful. And uh, well, to thank you all for all your support. Well, I'm doing a giveaway and my friends at Free Legged Thing decided to give one lucky subscriber uh, a monopod. So this is the monopod that I'm going to be giving away. I'm going to give it away on Monday at 5.30 p.m. This Monday at 5.30 p.m. for Labor Day. All you have to do is go to my live where I announced this giveaway like the video, post a comment, make sure that you are a subscriber. And then on Monday, I'll pick a name out of the fortune wheel that I have. And then the winner will receive this great monopod from Free Legged Thing. And uh, I want to know how you use it. So uh, hopefully you can tag me, you can tag Free Legged Thing so we can see how you're putting it to good use. So if you are interested, I'm going to put the link again in the uh, video description. And surprise, surprise, today I'm doing another giveaway. Thanks to my friend Zamir, who is the owner of the AK diffuser, my favorite diffuser, the only one actually I use. And he reached out to me yesterday saying, congrats for 10,000 subscribers. It's a big achievement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a giveaway and I'm gonna give away one of my AK diffuser to one of your lucky subscribers. How nice is this? So you get an AK diffuser that's going to be tailored to your gear. How do you win it? Well, to win it, you have to like this video. You have to be a subscriber to my channel and you have to post a comment uh, right below. Post a comment. Tell me how you would use the AK diffuser. Ask a question. Um, just, you know, post a little comment. Tell me something about yourself, how long you've been photographing and you will be entered to win this AK diffuser. Uh, I will give you a week to do that. So you have until next Sunday to post a comment and I will announce the winner of the AK diffuser uh, the week after. I will make a video. Please don't respond to any comment pretending to be me. I will not reach out to you with a comment. I will make a video and you will see your name on the screen on my video saying that you want the AK diffuser. That's it. So um, don't send any money to anybody. This is a giveaway, it's free. Uh, all I will need is basically an email address so I can put you in touch with Zamir and you can get your AK diffuser. That's it. Uh, so again, thank you again uh, to all the sponsors um, for the giveaway. So Free Legged Thing and AK Diffuser. 
really appreciate it. I'm so happy that I'm able to give back to all of you with this giveaway. I can't wait to see what you will do with those presents. And uh, good luck to everybody who is participating. Thank you again for all your support. It really means so much to me. I'm so excited that this channel is growing and uh, we're having such a fun community to interact and talk about Macro Forford and OM system, Olympus. So again, thank you and I will see you next week. Until then, happy shooting. Au revoir. <music>